Yeah. Just drop them anywhere. You can call me anywhere you want to pick up one. We'll pick it up. Thank you. Have a good day. Hello you guys, so today is Saturday and I've been sick the past week and so has Chris. Um, so today I finally started feeling better, but Chris is still pretty sick so he is in bed. This past week I've been like doing stuff around the house and around the yard, but I didn't record it because I just wasn't feeling good. So this video is going to be kind of like an update video of the things that I've done around the house and the garden. So yeah, I'm still a little bit sniffly. Um, but I am feeling a lot better now. But yeah, I might be sniffling throughout this video. The first update are these chairs. They actually just came today. In the dining room, it's been kind of, mm, I don't know, it looks a little bit like messy. And I think it's because I don't have any like matching chairs or anything. So there are three different chairs and I don't know, it just makes it look kind of not super cohesive. I really love red. I'm like really into red chairs for some reason and I like pops of red so yeah I just got these chairs today and I'm gonna add them around my dining table right now and then these other chairs I think I'm gonna sell them on Facebook marketplace just because they don't really fit this house that well in terms of like their seat height this aquarium is here right now just because I have nowhere else to put it because there aren't enough plugs around the house so I need to figure out my like or not plugs. There are not enough outlets around the house, so I need to figure out where I'm going to put that aquarium. But yeah, I'm just leaving it on the dining table for now. I think these look pretty cute here. Um, once the rest of this is decorated and this tank isn't here anymore, I think it'll make more sense. And once the table is kind of pushed out more. Um, there's a sixth chair. But I don't know if I'll use all six chairs here because it might be a little bit too busy. And this table isn't that big. Yeah, maybe I'll just use four. And then over here, I moved my big fish tank. I am not sure where I wanna, or like what I wanna do with this area. I think I like the aquarium here. I haven't set up its grow light or anything. I'm just letting it get natural sun and it seems to be doing okay for now. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this little entry area. I am not sure. In the downstairs bedroom, um, we went back to the apartment and we grabbed this bed frame that I used to have in my old bedroom. The bed frame was the last thing at our apartment and I was gonna sell it on Facebook Marketplace, but I just felt like I couldn't part with it yet. We had to get rid of some parts of the bed frame in order for it to fit. So we just kept the back headboard and then the nightstands. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I think it kind of it kind of works, but yeah, this room is still kind of a a mess. Something that's been kind of difficult for me in terms of decorating is that everything that I have in terms of like furnishing and artwork and things like that, I purchased for the apartment with a specific spot in mind or a specific function. And now that we're in a new home, that is completely different. I'm having to figure out where things can fit, and. That's just making it so the unpacking process is taking a lot longer. Like we haven't even gotten out any of our decorations and we haven't hung up any artwork yet. Things are coming along just slowly, but that's also okay. Um, okay, next thing I wanted to show you guys. I put my bookshelf moss terrarium on the bookshelf. I was able to get access to the outlet and I got my light in. I haven't cleaned up the cords or anything. And then we also still need to arrange the bookshelf and like put the shelves in the correct spots. The terrarium is all fogged up right now because I just got a new covering for it that covers the entire um, terrarium, but I just pushed it back a little bit so now there's a gap. So hopefully the air circulation will allow um, the condensation to clear up. And then also, do you guys remember this Ethereum pendants that I put outside? Yeah, that was a really bad move. Um, the rain and the cold that we had in California kind of killed the leaves, but the roots are fine and it also has new growth. So yeah, it'll just have to bounce back. And next, I wanted to show you guys this wall. The landlord was pretty excited about this when she showed me, she was like, and this is chalk paint. And um, I don't know, she was just like so enthusiastic about it. And she gave me some pieces of chalk. Whenever people have been coming over, I've been having my friends draw something on here. 
I got this idea from my friend Dustin because he would take Polaroids of people whenever they visited his house and then he would put them on the fridge. So this is kind of similar, but with drawings. This one, this is Fui Coco. This is a Pokemon. This is what my friend Tyler drew. And then I don't know what this is. It's kind of scary. This is what my friend Charlie drew. And then this is from Jahao. Um, this one's pretty funny. And this is from my friend Gloria. I did study abroad with her in South Korea and she really likes Bad Bunny. And then this is from my friend Hannah who I also did study abroad with and this is Theo. And then I don't think I've shared this with you guys because I just learned about this semi recently. But up here in the kitchen, this is all a pegboard and we have a few little like pegboard hooks and hangers and things like that that my landlord gave to us but i thought that was really interesting like i don't know it's like a curved pegboard i don't really know what to do with it but right now i just have like a platycerium and an anthurium hanging i just don't really know what to do with it if you guys have any ideas let me know and then I also wanted to ask what you guys think I can do with this wall. So this aquarium isn't gonna be here and then this painting isn't gonna be here. And then the table will be scooched to the side. Um, so there will be more space here. I don't know what I'm doing. At first I was thinking like a credenza or a buffet or a sideboard. I don't know what these words are. I just know kind of like what these things look like. <laughs> kind of like a cabinet over here but then i don't know if that would look weird with the table being kind of close and a similar height or i was thinking gallery wall or a big painting i don't know any insight would be helpful okay now let's head outside so first um i wanted to show you guys these weird cactus i found these somewhere around the yard and I thought they were pretty cool. They were already uprooted, but they were like growing on the ground and then they shot up. So they have this like funny crawling curve to them and I thought they were pretty cool. I think one of them would look really cool as like a house plant in a rectangular planter. I just need to find a rectangular planter long enough to fit one of these. Chris and I, we planted these seeds. Well, we like scattered them around, but it's a no mow low water um like lawn mix and we got it from this one website i'll put it over here somewhere and it's been oh my sniffles my allergies are also really bad and it's been about i want to say two weeks since we put it down and it's starting to grow a little bit so it's a mix of like fescue grass and then also clovers. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but yeah, it's growing in finally. And that'll be really nice once it all fills out, I think. Let's take a quick break to thank the sponsor of this video, Repot Me. Repot Me is an online store where you can buy pretty much anything you could ever want for your plants. You can get pots, pre-made soil, orchid pots, uh, fertilizers, fertilizer sprays, soil amendments. You can pretty much get any Thing you could ever want for plants from them. I use their amendments all the time for repotting my plants. Like I like to use their orchid bark a lot and then I like to use their lava rock for top dressing my plants. Also if you're into orchids they have a ton of stuff for orchids but they also have a lot of stuff for cactus or houseplants or succulents. So if you're in need of anything plant related at all check out repotme.com and a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. And then underneath the pomegranate tree, thank you to everyone who told me that this was a pomegranate tree. Right here, Chris and I, we planted the flower mix that he bought. And we're seeing a lot of growth, a lot of sprouts. I think this is like the first thing that Chris ever planted. So it's been fun for him watching this grow. I just have this chair here for now because I don't know where else to put it. We haven't really done much with the garden yet. I think we're going to start doing some stuff like this week or next week. I haven't really done much because I've been working on like my taxes and doing boring business stuff and then also being sick. So I just haven't had that much time to like do fun stuff like gardening and decorating. <laughs> but yeah, also like gardening feels very overwhelming compared to aquariums or terrariums or decorating with house plants or just decorating inside of a home because it just feels so much bigger and also like a lot 
more work uh, because like with an aquarium you know you can easily kind of create the landscape with a few rocks and some soil but like this is a hundred times larger than an aquarium so it's like my first time really gardening by myself too because I would like help my dad in the garden but I would never actually really like think of things to do myself so yeah I need to do like a garden plan or something and then I just got this recently this is a very large ponytail palm I saw this really cool tall one that was like eight feet tall on Facebook marketplace um, but it sold instantly and I was really sad about it so I've been looking up ponytail palm on Facebook Marketplace ever since, and I found this one. I might plant it in the ground or just leave it in a pot. I'm not sure yet. It's like a Dracaena mixed with a Codex plant, because I think this is actually a Codex, but yeah. It has this mass on the bottom and then kind of has a foliage similar to a Dracaena. Then this area right here, it's a little seating area. It's pretty cute. Um, I sit out here with my coffee and stuff in the morning sometimes. There's this bug flying around. Yeah, there's a lot around here to show you guys. I just haven't really done a tour yet. So let's go look at some other cool things around the garden. So yeah, there's a lot in this area. There's this little bench here. I like to sit out here sometimes um, in the evenings. And then there are these cool, like, what are these called, like lounge chairs. Um, I don't sit on them because the frame is rusted and it, I feel like it's gonna break. And all of this stuff came with the house too. So this is all my landlord's stuff. And then there's this little outdoor table over here. I'm getting so far away from the camera now. Yeah, there's this outdoor table here, but there's no glass top on it because apparently it broke. And then this thing is pretty cool. It's like a brick porch, I guess I would call it. Um, and there's moss growing on it, but it's kind of dying now that the rain has stopped. There's steps that, that you can get back into the house because this is a little door. And then there's a lot of stuff growing right now, now that we're in spring and approaching summer. These flowers have popped up everywhere. My landlord says that they're bulbs um, and they flower at this time of the year. And then there are some with purple flowers as well. This is the last thing in the garden I wanted to show you guys. Isn't this so interesting? It's like a amphitheater, I suppose, a little tiny amphitheater. There's a huge tree right here. I'm assuming that when they built this amphitheater, whoever built it, um, this tree was a lot smaller because it doesn't really make sense to have like this giant tree be in the middle of the amphitheater. So interesting. We're gonna have Chris do performances or something here. Make use of it. <laughs> now I want to show you guys the upstairs balcony and that fig tree that's growing um, like over it. And I realized that I haven't really shown you guys like around the house yet besides that one video a while ago where I like introduced you guys to this house in the first place. Come with me upstairs. They are very steep stairs, but I've gotten more used to it. Also, the black stairs show the dust so easily. So yeah, I need to, need to sweep. Chris is sleeping, so I'm not gonna turn the camera to the right. But lately, I've been going out onto the balcony through this window, because um, the door is hard to open. Look at this fig tree. It goes over the balcony and it's starting to grow leaves. It's producing some teeny figs. Pretty cute. It's been pretty fun to hang out here, especially in the evening when the sun, oh, the camera's super tilted. Well, that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's been fun to hang out here in the evening when the sun isn't super, super hot. I don't know what my plan is for this outdoor area. And then I want to show you guys some of these pretty cool things. So Chris's mom sent this to us for is it valentine's day maybe easter and they're really cute there are these paper things that pop open and then they're also adhesive so you can kind of stick them anywhere you want and it's like you have a little a little tiny monstera plant so i ordered this from vietnam from the shop that i went to in hanoi and i really liked it but i didn't 
buy it there, but I've been thinking about it ever since. So I messaged them online and I asked if they could ship and it finally arrived. So it is this fabric that I believe is a baby carrier. Color just really caught my eye and I've been thinking about it ever since. It looks super cool, it's hand embroidered and I love this thing. Yeah, I'm thinking of like hanging it on the wall sort of as a tapestry kind of. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. I know it's kind of a, not that much happened in this video, but I just wanted to check in and update you guys on what has been happening with me. Um, but yeah, I think in the next video, Chris and I are gonna start working more in the garden. There are some really cool native plant nurseries that are around this area that we wanna check out. So yeah, okay. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.